Antarctica. I don't know how many <laughs> people this will affect. But for those that it does, they might be upset to find out that for a while it's been a recreational issue. You haven't been allowed to fly recreational in Antarctica. However, you have been able to do commercial for surveying, ice mapping, a lot of things they do in Antarctica with drones. Uh, now, unfortunately, um, the local committee there um, has decided that um, the international committee, rather, has decided that they uh, they're not cool with drones. So maybe later. But right now they have uh, deemed drone use is not OK. They don't know if there's impact to the environment, and uh, they feel like there might be. They don't really cite why or mm -hmm. what they think is wrong. I guess they think that... Well, you know, the they noise pollution is that, what I typically hear. Yeah, they also think that, I guess, people will crash them if, like, because the conditions are crazy, because it's super cold. Maybe the batteries will die out, or the wind gusts will take them in somewhere they don't expect. Like, yeah. those kind of things. So they have just decided to basically blanket ban them. You can get approval through the International Association of Antarctica Tour Operators, but they are not granting uh, many of these uh, licenses. So, yeah. It's because, it's bec you know why they did this, Blunty? Because drones uh, could see over the ice wall. I knew you were going to say the ice wall. <laughs> <laughs> and prove that the earth is flat. They don't want it's, you looking over the ice wall. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Well, on that note, yeah. <laughs> we are going to wrap up for the evening. <laughs>